Graham Potter has been at Chelsea for over four months and is still trying to figure out who his best team is. This is becoming more common. Potter has made 64 changes to his starting 11 in 15 Premier League games as manager of the Blues, an average of just over four changes from one game to the next. The sheer number of players at his disposal, which has only increased in recent weeks, is undoubtedly a factor. Chelsea spent a record amount on eight new players in the summer, a record for any club in a single transfer window, with those players still settling in by the time Thomas Tuchel was fired and Potter was appointed to take over. Potter has had to gel 15 new players this season under tremendous pressure to achieve instant success given the standards of the last 20 years, with the last of whom arrived less than 72 hours before Friday's lacklustre and disjointed 0-0 draw with Fulham. Chelsea will sign Christopher Nkunku in the summer, have Malo Gusto back from Lyon, are likely to recruit elsewhere, and are expected to have at least a few significant departures, which will only add to the ongoing upheaval. After the Fulham draw, Potter admitted to a lack of familiarity, highlighting the polar opposite in their West London neighbours. Time will be critical for Potter and Chelsea in that endeavour, and it was clear from watching them against Fulham, as well as seeing the substitutions that were made, what needed to happen. Former Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich was notorious for his lack of patience. However, new chairman Todd Burley appointed Potter and has been in charge of overseeing the squad's massive personnel changes in such a short period. He must stand by his man,